hello guys welcome once again to this youtube channel coex tv on today's video i'm going to be talking about pi network what actually happened two days ago now majority of the pioneers globally about 35 million pioneers globally are still wondering what was listed on some of the what exchanges on cryptocurrency now super x exchange and uboy exchange actually listed what pi network on their exchange but then majority of the pioneers are still speculating could this be a fake pi or is this the real pi but then nobody knows so that's why we are here because i'm about to explain to you what was actually listed two days ago now even though the pi core team came with this and and stated pi is in a enclosed main net Pi Network isn't affiliated with and hasn't authorized any exchange listing. For me, I feel this is not worth a reasonable explanation. Because if they want to deny the fact that they are not associated with this, they need to deny it accurately. And when they do this, you will see the price of this Pi will fall from this $229 it is. It will fall down to what? To about zero. Because they haven't yet what denied this their their association with this that's why this coin is still averaging around 200 dollars now see one of the first things i'm going to tell you coin market cap one of the crypto aggregators would not i repeat would not list a coin or display the value of that coin on their aggregator page without it being affiliated with the original what company now as you can see the original what the original website is here of which if you click it will refer you back to what to the main pi network uh, website and also aside that you could see that this is the 73,800 persons have pi on their watch list of which has been so for a very long time now now this is the official statement here by coin market cap there have been reports questioning the legitimacy of pi network please note that mainnet has not yet launched and the price displayed below for certain exchanges reflect the value of the ious and it may not be transferable across exchanges now you, most persons don't really understand the meaning of this word ious now ious means i owe you so these exchanges listed a a how would i call it a virtual pie that means is not really existing you know a virtual pie and they are telling you that okay this pie we listed it because they actually it started at 11 dollar and they're telling you that if you buy this pie at 11 dollar and you keep buying and selling and buying that when the original pie comes into open net phase which is open net uh, the the open uh, main net phase that they are going to give you the equivalent of the pie you have so it means if you bought five pie when the pie was at ten dollar and that was two days ago and it's currently at 230 dollar then when eventually about a year in in the next one year when the open net phase goes live and pi skyrockets to about five thousand dollar they are telling you that the five pi you bought at ten dollar that they are going to give you the original pi for that same five thousand dollar that it's in so it's both ways so if you bought it at ten dollar and when the main pile list you understand on various exchanges and it crashes down to about 0, 0.0 dollar it means you have also lost but if it pumps it means you have gained so it's just like future trading so this is just like a listing of a what a listing of pie in the future zone but it's around the spot what wallet area so like let's see let's go through this thing here he said the acronym iou stands for iou and refers to an informal document that acknowledges a debt one party owes to another now the debt usually involves a monetary value but can 
also be related to other goods such as physical products or what or properties owing to the informal quality of iou they tend to carry a certain degree of uncertainty and unlike bonds and promissory notes are not considered a legal negotiable instrument this means that the party in debt has no legal obligation to actually pay the debt just because they wrote down and signed an iou IOUs can be as simple as a piece of paper or even a verbal deal between members of the same family. In some cases, businesses may also use IOUs as a method for informally recording how much they owe to another company or to their employees, for example. So, this is just an explanation of what is actually occurring with some of these centralized exchanges. So, the pie you are seeing, it's not a fake pie. They are actually promising you as what a crypto enthusiast and also a customer or a pioneer that if you eventually buy this pie and when the original pie launches, that means when the open mainnet phase goes live, that they are going to give you the equivalent of the pie you have when you bought it as of two days ago or within this period of enclosed mainnet phase when it was listed on their exchange so this is just it so it doesn't mean that it's a fake pie it is not a fake pie and it is basically not also an original pie it is just what a virtual pie does just a pie on what basis that this is what you have but it's not actually real but you could also use it to exchange value and swap it to usdt or to various other coins and what withdraw your money because you actually bought it at a certain amount of money at a certain value you know so that's what he's just trying to say remember this is not a financial advice this is just for what educational purpose we try to educate you and let you know what the basics surrounding what the recent pie that was what listed on various exchanges now as you can see it goes to about let me see let me put it on the one day candlestick it rose to about let's see let's see it's still loading okay uh, okay i think this is it it rose to about 335 dollars about that was that was two days ago before it started going down but then super x being one of the exchanges to list by and also Uboy token is actually okay this is it we are here so this is it okay so as you can see it started at about two dollar one dollar and it pumped the first day to 42 dollar then the next day it pumped up to what to 335 dollar so in anything you are doing just be careful you know because who knows eh? it may eventually not be the main pie or it may be the main pie remember this is not a financial advice whatsoever you're doing you're taking your own risk always do your research before you jump into any project okay now pi network is aware of reports that several unauthorized third party exchanges and potential unknown third parties are seeking to list pi or tokens purporting to be pi or some purported derivative of pi without the consent authority or involvement of pi network it is important to iterate that pi is currently in the enclosed network and is not approved by pi network for listing on any exchange or for trading and pi network was not involved with any of these purported what postings or listings so this is the official statement board by the pi core team and aside from this official statement there's also something that they also stated so let me go back to the coin market cap page and show you also on their what on their official twitter page where they are trying to what to discredit the the uh, actual listing of the spy and also dissociate themselves from it okay it's loading remember if this is your first time on this youtube channel i really appreciate you give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our youtube channel so this is it so yeah here we are participation may result in loss trust only official pie channels so don't just jump into conclusion and go and buy do your research 
if you feel this is something you can this is a loss you could shoulder or a gain you could shoulder it's good go ahead but remember this is not a financial advice okay so thank you once again for listening to this video and what goodbye don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel thank you